Hi, this is Steve with iFlow. Welcome to our video series. In this segment, we're going to look at how to access and configure the iFlow controller. So on the iFlow PCB, uh, there is a display, a 22 segment LED display. And below the display, there are four buttons. On the left, you have mode. On the very right, you have enter. And in between, you have up and down. So mode, up, down, and enter. And that's how we will access the uh, onboard controller. So I'm just going to turn that off so that you can hopefully get a better visual of the display in the letter. So, uh, depending on the model that you have, you can have between four and six modes. So on all of our base models, we have four modes. We have info, uh, mo info mode as mode one, mode two for error, mode 3 for uh, settings, and mode 4 for test. On the Wi-Fi uh, and both zoning models, the D models and the Q models, we have six modes. So you have information mode, you have error code mode, you have general parameter mode, you have, um, you have heating mode, cooling mode, and test mode. So let's run through those. Mode 1 is information mode and just by pressing the mode button on the very left you can scroll through the different modes. So mode 1 information, mode 2 is for error codes that will give you the last 10 error codes, mode 3 is for general parameter settings, mode 4 for heating settings, mode 5 is for cooling settings, and mode 6 is for testing uh, and that will test the different components on the unit. You can test the blower speed, the pump speed, any of the relays that, you're, that you've got to connect it that you want to prove that are working. You would do that through test mode. So again, six modes. Mode 1, Mode 2, Mode 3, Mode 4, Mode 5, and Mode 6 for, uh, for the um, uh, Wi-Fi and zoning models, and then um, 1, 2, 3, and 4 for the um, for the base models. So, let's just look at how you get into them. So, for example, let's say we want to look at all the information that the iFlow is now seeing. We go to information mode. So again, mode button to mode one, and we press enter. We press enter to enter the actual uh, mode. So now we've entered mode one, and we're at parameter one, and we have the value on the right. So parameter one of mode one and the value of that parameter on the right. And then we can scroll up using the up arrow. This is parameter two in info mode, parameter three in info mode, parameter four in info mode, parameter five in info mode, etc. Then we can scroll through and, and see all the information that we want. Referencing the manual, all of the, all of the different parameters uh, and what they stand for are in the, uh, in the manual. So you can follow along in your manual. We just want to show you here how to basically access those. So again, when I switch from info mode, maybe I want to see the error codes. So again, same thing, press enter to enter mode two, and then you have the uh, parameter one. So this would be the last error code, uh, 102. And if I scroll up, then I had an error code 101, error code 102, and then I had no further error codes. So I've only had three error codes on this unit. Mode 3, general, again, to enter mode 3, you press enter, and then you can use the up button to scroll up through the various parameters that you want to see and you want to test. Mode 4, the same, 5, the same, and 6. So, that's how you access the, um, uh, the, the controller. So, let's say now you, you've entered, so uh, enter mode 1, parameter number 1, uh, let's say let's go up to mo let's go to parameter 9 okay 15 Celsius for example so now I want to get out of that mode all I do is press the information button right? and if I press it multiple times then it'll go off so you don't have to um, there's nothing you need to do to leave the mode just press the mode button until until the screen goes blank and you're out of information mode so that's how you access the controller thank you